I also uh, want to make sure that I talk about your new clothing line because I'm really excited about this. I can't think also of someone who, which is not an easy feat, became such a red carpet it girl and you just broke the rules. So what are you doing Let's with clothes? Thank you for saying that because I love getting dressed even though I ended up on every worst dress list in America in my 20s. You couldn't stop me. My mother cut them all out. She's so proud. She was like, it's so much chicer to be on the worst dress list. This is fabulous. She could not have been prouder. So I was raised by a mom who loves a good worst dress list. So I'm lucky in that regard. But, you know, it's been really interesting just because, you know, talking about self-love, you know, I've been, one of the things that was also interesting about the commentary on the red carpet is I have been, because a lot because my body fluctuated because of being sick. Also, my body just fluctuated because you age. I also went through menopause at 32. I've been a size six on the red carpet. I've been a size 16 on the red carpet. The reactions that you get to your body are fascinating and unbelievably different. And dressing your body is a really different experience. I've been able to walk into a store and put on anything. And I've been able to walk into the store and find nothing. And I, you know, now dressing my plus size body, I found this amazing collaboration with Eleven Honoré, which is this amazing company my friend Patrick Herning started, where he is taking companies that, um, that have typically um, stock clothing in straight sizes, zero through 12, and getting them to expand their sizing so that women who, like me, are plus size can access the clothing that they want and see in magazines and wouldn't typically have access to. And I just, I love Eleven on Array. I love what they're doing. And I just wanted to create a collection. It's a, it's a capsule collection of, you know, five pieces that I loved so much that just express the way that I love to dress, which is in a way that makes me feel powerful and professional, but also still has like play and fun. And, yes. and just like, you know, I'm just, I'm just feeling very sassy in my blazer right now and my yellow sh- shirt and, and like, just feel in my body. I'll just show you. I'm going to stand up on Zoom just to show you that I have some sassy scalloping on my mini skirt. I don't want to be too daring. Oh, right I see it. I see it. Is that too much of a show and tell for the American audience? No. Nope. Oh, I love it. I love those details. Um, thank you. I can't tell you the amount of times I have walked in my closet and felt not great because I've, I'm up, down, I'm here, there, but I love style and that is so personal, which is the way clothes should fit. And one of the big revelations that I had as my body, as after my hysterectomy, when I realized I'm never going to be, I mean, something that's amazing is when I first went on Girls, the amount of criticism I received for my body People talked about me in ways that I would never say on television because they don't deserve human airtime. But at that point, I was like 50 to 60 pounds lighter than I am now. And I look at that little girl who received that feedback about her body, like the beauty that comes to me in work, in love, in sex. Like I've never been denied anything in this life by having like a big, beautiful, curvy body, because when I embrace it, like I fill myself with love and then that love comes out of me and then that love comes back to me. And so as sort of cheesy as it sounds, like I just wanted that to be in these clothes and like wrap up other women because that's been one of the biggest lessons of my early thirties. I'm really excited. that you are also working on something that you wrote was um, possibly one of your most ambitious projects. And when I hear Lena Dunham say she's working on one of her most ambitious projects, I'm like, what is it? (laughs) I'm so excited that you're excited. Well, I'm in England right now because I'm about to start shooting a film that I've been trying to make for almost 10 years. It's called Catherine Called Birdie, and it's a medieval coming of age comedy which I have to tell you has some ever after inspiration happening in it. So it's kind of kismet that I'm getting to look at your face right now because I've been looking at your face on some vision boards for my medieval coming of age comedy. Danielle! Um, (laughs) 
I can't believe what you just gave me, the gift that you just gave me of yelling Danielle. <laughs> Good luck in London, go crush it. I would love to see you when you're done. I can't wait. I want to give you a real hug. <laughs> Lena Dunham, 11 on array. The Lena Dunham collection is out now. This is the kind of conversations I dreamt of signing up to this job. Thank you for making my dreams once again come true, Lena.